Hi students, we go to class planes 2. We are going to draw various plane surfaces perpendicular to VP and inclined to HP by an angle. The surface perpendicular to VP and inclined to HP by, by an angle. First we will draw a hexagonal lamina. The question will be given in your description. The lamina is resting on HP on a side. Lamina is resting on HP. This is HP. Lamina is resting on HP on a side. With the surface making some angle to HP. Say 40 degrees to HP. And the surface perpendicular to VP. When I say surface perpendicular to VP. Don't think of these edges. Not edges. The full surface. Consider the full surface perpendicular to VP. And surface making some angle to HP. What's the plan in this position when you look at the top? Plan is a compressed hexagon. What's the elevation? Elevation is a line. You cannot directly draw. So what you do is. Keep it like this. One edge VP ki perpendicular ki HPL. Keep an edge perpendicular to VP and keep it on HP. Tilt it like this. How far? Till it makes 40 degrees to HP. Now what's the plan? Plan is a hexagon. What's the elevation? Elevation is a line on XY line. What's the elevation now? Elevation is the same line but at an inclination. From XY line it lifts and make an inclination to XY. That's all. So what you do is Keep it like this, tilt it and reach the final position. When you draw, what do you do? Keep it like this, draw plan and elevation. Redraw that elevation to the final position and project a plan. You can the plan elevation number. Elevation redraw the plan. plan. Then you simple position plan elevation number. Then you final redraw the plan elevation number. That is a sequence. I will show you how to draw it. Okay, you can see the plan elevation number. XY line A, B, C, D, E, F Project them to the elevation A dash, B dash, C dash, D dash, E dash, F dash What's oh, A dash, B dash, C dash, D dash, E dash, F dash. Take A1 dash, B1 dash, anywhere on its way. What is A1 dash, B1 dash? It is this point with a suffix 1. We will suffix it. Separate drawing iron, then we will suffix it. Then draw a 40 degree line. Take this distance in your compass and mark. What is this? This is e1 dash d1 dash where is the center get this distance and mark c1 dash f1 dash this angle is 40 degrees what is this this is the final elevation this is the final elevation of the object just to suit this elevation you need to draw a new plan this is the final elevation to suit this elevation you need a final plan what do you do what do you do what you do is Drop vertical projectors down. Very, very light vertical projectors. Draw horizontal projectors from the first plan. Projector through horizontal projector through A will pass through E, through B will pass through D. A dash in the vertical projector. A in the vertical horizontal projector meet the A1. Meet the A1. B dash in the vertical projector. B A in the vertical horizontal projector meet the A1. That is C1. That is D1. That is E1. That is F1. Connect all these points. What do you get? You get a compressed hexagon. This is the final plan. This is the final elevation. Finished. So, this simple position plan and elevation. Retro the elevation. Project a plan. The selection of this simple position is very, very important. You have to keep one side perpendicular to XY line. AB. 
ബീനെ പിടിച്ച് പൊക്കുമ്പോൾ അത് ആ സൈഡിലിരിക്കുകയുള്ളൂ അവിടെ ഒരു കോണറിനെ കൊണ്ട് വെച്ചാൽ എന്ത് സംഭവിക്കും കോണറിലിരിക്കും തെറ്റിപ്പോൾ മൊത്തം മാർക്ക് പോകും യു ലൂസ് ദ മാർക്ക് ഇഫ് യു കീപ്പ് എ കോണർ ഹിയർ ആൻഡ് ഇഫ് യു ലിഫ്റ്റ് ഇറ്റ് വിൽ റെസ്റ്റ് ഓൺ എ കോണർ ഇറ്റ് വയലേറ്റ്സ് ആർ ക്യൂർമെൻറ്റ് യു വിൽ ലൂസ് മാർക്ക് യു വിൽ ഗെറ്റ് സീറോ ആർ സോ കീപ്പ് വൺ സൈഡ് പെർപ്പൻഡിക്കുലർ ടച്ച് ബിക്കോസ് ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് റെസ്റ്റിംഗ് ഓൺ എച്ച് പി ഓൺ എ സൈഡ് ദിസ് ഈസ് സിമ്പിൾ ഡയറക്റ്റ് ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ നൗ വി വിൽ ഡ്രോ അനദർ ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ in this problem we will consider we will consider an equilateral triangle resting on hp on a side with the surface parallel perpendicular to vp and making 50 degrees to hp an equilateral triangle resting on hp on a side with surface perpendicular to vp and making 50 degrees to hp same thing say very same thing only change shape difference only shape difference xy equilateral triangle abc elevation is a line a dash b dash c dash A1 ഏ വൺ ഡാഷ് ബി വൺ ഡാഷ് ഡ്രോ എ ഫിഫ്റ്റി ഡിഗ്രി ലൈൻ ടേക്ക് ദിസ് ഡിസ്റ്റൻസ് ആൻഡ് മാർക്ക് സി വൺ ഡാഷ് ഡ്രോ വെർട്ടിക്കൽ പ്രൊജക്ടേഴ്സ് ഡൗൺ ഡ്രോ ഹൊറിസോണൽ പ്രൊജക്ടേഴ്സ് എ വൺ ബി വൺ സി വൺ ന്യൂ പ്ലാൻ വെരി വെരി സിമ്പിൾ ദിസ് ഡിസ്റ്റൻസ് ഈസ് ഈക്വൽ ടു ദിസ് ഡിസ്റ്റൻസ് ആൻഡ് ദിസ് ആംഗിൾ ഈസ് ഫിഫ്റ്റി Agree? 50 mm side. Triangular triangle 50 mm side. I have marked the dimensions. It's coming. Now we will draw one more problem. It's a circular lamina. Let's consider a circular lamina. Agree? It is a circular lamina resting on HP on a point with the surface perpendicular to VP and inclined to HP by some angle so that the plan is an ellipse. Plan is an ellipse with minor axis 30 mm. Plan is an ellipse with minor axis 30 mm. Listen. Circular lamina resting on HP. Plan is a circle. Elevation is a line on XY. If you lift this, this, the plan will become an, plan will change from circle to ellipse. At some point, the plan will be an ellipse of minor axis 30 and major axis remain 50 always if you lift it further finally the plan will become a straight line isn't it the plan become a straight line some point. so on this movement somewhere the plan become an ellipse of minor axis 30 this diameter is reducing as minor axis you don't know that angle you are asked to find out that angle okay what do you do is xy line circle in few books they are dividing circle always in eight equal parts i do not accept it i will not recommend my students to divide a circle in eight equal parts as a shortcut method eight parts on a circle are quite insufficient to get the profile of the circle always divide it into 12 equal parts you refer old books or international books in no book circle is divided into eight equal parts always divide the circle into 12 equal parts how do you divide keep your protractor at the center 30 degrees 60 degrees 90 degrees 120 degrees 150 degrees then keep your scale and you draw radial lines you get 12 divisions on the circle the circle is divided into 12 equal parts A, B, C, D, E, F, 
G H I J K L. Tell parts. Project them to derivation. Project all these points to derivation. Project to through B will pass through L, C will pass through K, D will pass through J, E will pass through I, F will pass through H and G. Finally, elevation. Elevation is a line on x axis. A dash, B dash, C dash, D dash, E dash, F dash, G dash, H dash, I dash, J dash, K dash, L dash. Now, choose a one dash anywhere on x axis. You are going to lift it. How far? You don't know. You don't know the angle. But you know that after lifting, you get an ellipse here. Ellipse major minor axis is thirty. What do you do? Take thirty mm and draw a projector. What is this distance? This is 30. You are ensuring that the minor axis become 30. Okay. Take this distance in your compass and cut an arc and connect it. Take the distance a dash g dash and mark here g1 dash. Take the distance a dash f dash and mark a point here. Take the distance from and mark from g dash backwards. Get a point here. Take the distance a dash e dash and mark from here and take the same distance from g dash backwards and you get the point here. Take the center. Mark. This is b1 dash. This is c1 dash. This is d1 dash. This is e1 dash. This is f1 dash. That is g1 dash. This is h1 dash. This is j1 dash. i1 dash. This is j1 dash. This is k1 dash. This is l1 dash. Instead of what we did, no. People take the small distances and start marking. There is very high probability that you hear there. In the Gilum Tetu Varan, Payangar Janson, the Kunyu Kunyu distance at the market and another. They put large Dura Dukan and accurate, isn't it? I'll teach him a Jamotim to market them. Draw vertical projectors through all these points. You have to be very careful. The projectors have to be very light. Draw horizontal projectors. Mark the points. Where are the points? A1, B1, C1, D1, E1, F1, G1, H1, I1, J1, K1, L1. Connect all these points by a smooth curve. You have to pardon me as I am drawing with the free hand. The shape will not be good. A1, B1, so you get an ellipse. What is the minor axis? This is the minor axis. How much is it? It's 30. What is the major axis? This is the major axis. It's diameter. I will mark the dimension here. Fifty-five. Five means diameter in uh, drawing standards. Conventions. 55. Or you can write 550. Okay. Now you are asked to find out what? Find out this angle. Agreed? So we have completed a class where the surface is perpendicular to VP and inclined to HP. Agreed? Surface perpendicular to VP and inclined to HP. Thank you.